Hello there guys and welcome to our what's going to be now our 15th uh, Java game programming tutorial in the series of tutorials. So in today's tutorial we're going to go ahead and uh, write the method here for update ship. I do apologize for taking so long to uh, make to create a tutorial but I've been fairly busy so I do apologize. So to waste no more time let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial and um, if, uh, I will be explaining uh, what's going on um, while we're going through the tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started so what we're going to do in here, what will the uh, update ship um, method will do? so for our update ship here uh, we will simply just going to be updating the ship's x and y position using our velocity methods that we created previously so let's start with the comment like we always do here and I'm going to say uh, this um, method will simply is going to be updating the ship's positioning so I'm going to say update let's say updates ships positioning and uh, this is as we mentioned before this is based on the velocity alright so let's go ahead and start here with public void and then the name of the method which is update ship and then let's open our brackets and let's go here inside of our method and let's go ahead and start with the um, with the comment so let's go ahead and first we're going to go ahead and uh, let's update the x position first so update ship x position remember guys you can uh, write any comments you want the comments are just there simply to make you um, better understand your code and make others better understand your code so type your own comments uh, that, that will help you um, uh, that will make it easier for you to understand your code so alright simply let's go ahead here and start I'm gonna call my ship instance here which I call which I call mine player ship from our previous tutorials and I'm going to go ahead and increment the x value here and I'm going to go ahead and type player ship so I want to set uh, I want to increment the x positioning by calling the velocity uh, method the getter which is uh, get velocity x that's going to be incrementing my x positioning now let's say um, the ship reaches at the end of the screen on the right side so what we want to do is we want to wrap around so they can the ship will go on the right side and appear on the left. So to do that, I'm gonna let's go ahead and put a comment first. So I'm gonna say uh, wrap around left right. Alright, so let's have an if condition here. So if the player ship that we're gonna go ahead and get the x here, x positioning. So once we increment the x, we want to get the x and uh, make sure that so up here we're incrementing the x positioning using the velocity and here we're checking if ev every time we're incrementing we're also checking to make sure that it hasn't reached um, the end of our screen and if it has we want it to appear on the other side so simply let's go ahead if get x is less than negative 10 let me put the brackets here we want to go I'm going to go ahead and type player ship that I'm going to set the x what I want to do there, I'm going to set it to the get size. So here I'm going to get the size of the screen. That width, so I want to get the width plus 10. And simply put the semicolon there. So what we are doing here, let me explain this to you guys, is we're checking uh, if it has reached the left side. So if it's minus 10, it has reached the left side. So then we add. Uh, we're checking if he has reached. So if we get x, we're getting the while we are um, incrementing and updating our positioning here use based on the velocity. We're also r retrieving the x value to make sure that it hasn't reached the very end. And if it has, we want to go ahead and appear. Uh, we want to give it. M we want to make it appear on the um, right side or so. So if it reaches the end of the left side, we want it to appear on the right side, and we can do that by setting the x position here and ch and. Um, setting and basically getting the screen size and adding 10 to that now oops sorry let's have an else if there so in our else if here I'm gonna go ahead and call the player ship instance again and I'm gonna get the x so once I have the x here I'm gonna make sure that it's greater than get size that width plus 10 just like we did up there and let me open the brackets here and I'm going to type player ship 
dot set x. Sorry, my goodness here set x to minus ten. Alright, so this is doing the exact same thing just for the other side. So it's checking if the x value is greater than the screen size plus 10. So if the x si uh, so if the um, shift position is greater than the screen size, that means our screen, and then we want it to um, return it on the other side so we can see the ship uh, once again because we do want to play the game. Alright, now let's go ahead and do the same thing. So we're going to go ahead and update. I'm going to type update ship um, y position or posi positioning. Let me call the player ship instance again. And I'm going to increment the y this time. I'm going to increment this based on the player ship that get. Did I spell something wrong here? That get the um, velocity y. Alright. Now let's go ahead and we're going to do the wrap again here. So now we want to wrap around. So now in the first here we did the uh, left and right and I want to do the top and bottom, right? So I'm go ahead and top bottom here just so you guys know. And let's go have our if statement there. So if player ship, we're gonna sim we're gonna do a similar thing as we did up there in our previous uh, uh, if uh, else conditions. So if uh, if player ship there that get y, since up there we did get x, we're gonna do get y. same thing if it's less than negative 10 open brackets here let's go inside and similarly we do the same thing that we did up there so player ship that set the y and up there we did set x now we do set y to the get size dot height since up there we did width now we're doing the height and we add 10 Now let's go ahead and have our else if here. Else if player ship. Let's go ahead and get our y. And also let's get our size here again, just like we did up there, guys. So you can also copy and paste that and change the, you know, the um, width with the height. So that height. That. So here once it reaches the bottom, uh, or the top, sorry, um, we want to appear on the bottom again. So, player ship dot set the y minus 10. Alright, so this will cover, so this covers our basically uh, ship, or sorry, update ship uh, method. So this will basically uh, help the ship um, it will increment the ship's positioning and once it reaches the end of uh, either side or top, bottom, right, left of the screen, we want it to wrap around so we're going to make it appear on the other side and vice versa. So uh, I hope you guys liked this tutorial and if you did, uh, and please, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already guys, please do that. It truly means a lot and sorry for taking so long to do this tutorial. But um, I will keep up and I will do uh, another tutorial uh, very soon and uh, that will be covering our next method up here which would be the update bullets so that will be our next tutorial which would be tutorial 16 on this series so thank you for watching this tutorial guys and uh, I hope you liked it don't forget to subscribe and check out all my other videos and uh, thank you again